who trains in perfect wisdom, trains in Buddhahood. Of all the trainings which have been revealed by the leader, this teaching is the best and unsurpassed. One who, wise in all trainings, wishes to go beyond, he or she should train in this perfection of wisdom, in the Buddha training. Inexhaustibility of perfect wisdom. This is the best receptacle, the storehouse of the supreme dharma, the treasury of happiness and ease of those people who belong to the clan of the Buddhas. The past and future world saviors and those who are at present in the ten directions, they have come forth from this, and yet the dharma element does not get exhausted. As many trees, fruits, flowers, and forest trees there are, they all have come out of the earth and originate from it. And yet the earth does not undergo exhaustion or growth. It does not get tired, does not dwindle away, making no discrimination. The Buddha's offspring, the disciples and Pratyeka Buddhas, the gods and the dharmas, which lead to the ease and happiness of all the world, as many as there are, they have all issued from wisdom the foremost perfection. And yet wisdom does not ever get exhausted, nor does it increase. As many beings as there are in the low, middle, and high regions of the world, they have all, so has the Sugata said, been brought about by ignorance. The machinery of ill is kept going by the full complement of the conditions. And yet the machinery of ignorance does not get exhausted, nor does it grow. As many roots of skillful devices as there are, or doors and methods of cognition, they all have issued from wisdom, the foremost perfection. The machinery of cognition is kept going by the full complement of conditions, and yet the perfection of wisdom does not increase or become diminished. Conditioned Co-Production but the Bodhisattva, who understands conditioned co-production as non-production, and this wisdom as non-extinction, as the rays of the sun, freed from the covering of the clouds, so he or she has dispelled the covering of ignorance and become one self-existent. The Perfection of Concentration Those of great might who dwell in the four trances, do not make them into a place to settle down in, nor into a home. But these four trances will become the basis for the attainment of the supreme and unsurpassed enlightenment. One who is established in the trances becomes one who obtains the foremost wisdom. And also, when he or she experiences the four most excellent formless trances, he or she makes these trances subservient to the best and foremost enlightenment. But it is not for the extinction of the outflows that the Bodhisattva trains himself in these. Astonishing and wonderful is this accumulation of precious qualities. When they have dwelled in trance and concentration, there is then no sign. When the personality of those who have stood therein breaks up, they are reborn again in the world of sense-desire, as and where they had intended. As some man from Jambudvipa, who had in the past been a god, would, after reaching again the highest abodes of the gods, see the apartments contained in them, and would then again come back and not make his home therein, just so those bodhisattvas, bearers of the best qualities, having dwelt in trance and concentration, yogins who have exerted themselves, become again established in the sense world, unstained as the lotus in water, independent of the dharmas of the fools. Except in order to mature beings, to purify the Buddha field, to fulfill these perfections, the great souled ones do not strive after rebirth in the formless world lest there be a loss of the perfections and of the qualities of enlightenment therein. The wise bodhisattvas who have gained the calm concentration of the four trances, which gives joy and ease, having let go of the acquisition of the joy and ease of trance and concentration, they enter again into the sensuous world, compassionate for all that lives. The joyous bodhisattva should... A hero be wisely known as being constantly concentrated.
the perfection of vigor. They have pure and courageous minds and are linked to other beings and persons when they are practicing the excellent perfection of vigor. The Bodhisattva, who has set out for the foremost enlightenment, behaves toward the entire world like a true servant. Thereupon he obtains enlightenment, and the fulfillment of the qualities takes place. Fire, which has arisen from grass and sticks, then burns them up. Having renounced a happy destiny for himself, practicing his or her duty toward other beings, day and night, in his thought, free from hesitation, like a mother, ministering to her only child, she abides in her resolute intention, unexhausted.